Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is going to be another damage comparison video. However, it'll be something similar to how I did the T-Mot Cosmos Gun Grid versus the T-Mot Harp and Gun Grid, the standard magnitude grid. Today's going to be Highlander Hades versus normal Hades with this full Gisela. Now, one thing I would like to mention is that I still have my giveaway going on. It will be going on for one more day at the time of recording this video. So if you haven't um, commented on the tweet, I recommend you doing that. Uh, you can go find it in my surprise ticket video. I don't want to throw it out too much, like the link and everything. Cause I, I'm trying not to like promote it too much because I want people to have a better chance of getting it. But I do want to still promote it, so yeah. But other than that, I think that about covers it. Let's get on to the grids and we'll talk about some things. Cause this this grid, um, it's a lot harder than you think it would be. So I'm gonna start with what I brought and why I brought everything. So the reason I mentioned this um, Highlander Hades versus normal Hades is because Akasha farming has become more popular in terms of ways of getting gold bars and rings and Honestly, even I am considering doing it as well, just because I'm low on rings and there's a lot of characters now, thanks to the roulette that I want to ring for videos and stuff and them having suboptimal ranks do bother me, especially meta characters that I don't even think Nira has a good ring on her right now, to be honest. I would like stamina on her, but we'll see. Yeah, this is another one of those rings that's kind of eh. So um, I know the stats are nice, but these, he doesn't need CA damage, um, so or double attack. So stuff like that, I feel like if you're not already farming rings and if you're not already farming gold bars, it's gonna be good for you if you're wanting to get into doing something that's simple. It's not too investment heavy, and uh, well, I mean it is investment heavy, right? Cause you gotta waste bars, but this is something that can earn you back the bars you put into it. So. I've seen people talk about it quite a bit, so I, I just thought I'll do a video on it. Now, as I mentioned, let's start at the very beginning. I brought Soldier. Soldier is the most common class used for Akasha. It's pretty much the go-to class combined with Kalulu. So that's why we took Soldier. Now, characters, you notice that I do not have Kalulu anywhere here. Reason being that Kalulu applies defense down, stackable. Her stacks up to 30%. On the trial bot, that's 14 defense. Yeah, 14 defense. So because he goes above the 15 or below the 15, I decided to drop her. Just know that she is stronger, the strongest attacker here next to your main character. If you're wondering about how her damage output would be, her damage output is similar to main character depending on how low her health is. So it's much higher than these two. But I just could not bring her because he would apply defensive down and it wouldn't be a proper test. Zoe's here to lower our health so we can see the damage at each threshold. Claris is here because she's also used a lot in um, Akasha. And not only that, she has really poor damage. So unlike the main character, you're more likely to see the damage drop with Claris than let's say main character in Kalulu. That's why Claris is here. That and I had to bring a third unit because I wanted to deaf near. The reason I'm deafing near is because with near's um, passive on deaf, she has the ability to stop both players, the the player and the boss from healing. So I'm using that so I can keep my health at threshold where I can show the damage difference. But other than that, I think that's about covers everything with the characters. So let's move on to weapons. Now, weapons, this is where it gets a lot harder. Now, you look in here, this is the normal Hades grid. You may notice something's missing, an EX mod. There's just too much space in the grid for you to put an EX mod. Now, your options are to either drop the Cosmos weapon, or co is it Cosmos, what is it called, Cosmic? Yeah, Cosmic, you either drop the Cosmic um, Lance for an EX mod, However, you give up 5% damage cap. Oh, that's it. You, you can't drop any of the Gisela's for an EX mod 
because dropping any of these Gisolas is a huge damage loss for EX mod. I'll just show it to you if you, if you guys want to see it. Here. It doesn't matter which EX mod you put. Um, what you would normally put is the uh, Zeno Spear, but you can see once you put it, it's a massive drop off. You can put the same thing with the Zeno Katana. It's a massive drop off. So you really can't like um, put in a Zeno weapon without replacing the Cosmic weapon. However, if you put if you replace the Cosmic weapon, you lose out on five percent overall damage cap, which already the grid is falling behind quite a bit compared to Highlander Hades in terms of damage cap. So that's why, which one is it? This one, I think? Oh God, I don't remember which one it was. Oh no. Oh no. Well, yeah, that's that's why uh, you have a hard time sliding an EX in this grid. Uh, man, this is so, I hate this part of it. I hate this part so much. Uh, okay, this is it now. Okay, cool. Yeah, so this is why you, you lose like a lot of damage cap here with this grid. Now, the Kalulu Spear also cannot be replaced because it's your only actual source of scale cap up on this grid currently. So you cannot replace that either. Seraphic has to stay because you are fighting Akasha, so you're fighting on Ellie. Magna Opus is here. If you were to, let's say, put in the Primal Opus, you would need even another slot to put in the Magna Claw. So you can't really replace the Magna Opus. It is optimal here. Kirin Bow, it's for the 10% uh, damage cap up. Can't replace that. And the Palm Tree, uh, Tmot's weapon. I don't remember the name of it, but this weapon's for garrison and your health boost. So you just don't have a lot of weapon space with this grid, the slot in the EX, and the main characters running Gunslinger. As for summons, we are in Bial. Um, Zeus, Zeus doesn't really matter. You can put anything here. Sorry, L, because you need damage cap up and death. So, another thing I would like to mention that he does lower your health by 30%, right? So, keep that in mind with this thing that it does lower your health by 30%, and it does make a factor when you're playing at really low health. Like, normally without him, I like I'm around 7k to 8k per heal with Zoe, with him, it's like 4k. So, it does make a difference when you're using him. And here's the other grid. So here we have the Highlander Hades grid. Uh, one Gisla, one BK sword, uh, Kalulu spear, Zoe's bow. Just know that this is a max limit break Zoe bow. If your Zoe bow is not max limit broken, it will, you will have less damage. Um, none of this grid is replaceable. You need all four weapons here. Um, put, removing any of these four weapons will uh, cause you to have a massive damage drop. I've tried it myself. Like if you were to replace Zoe's bow with, let's say a EX mod, it's a massive damage drop. So it's really not worth it. So I just re recommending that if you're replacing any of these, you cannot replace any of these weapons. Just throwing it out there. I know somebody's gonna ask, what if I don't have this? You really can't replace them if you want to get the same results. Um, there's no alternatives. Whatever alternative you go with, it's going to be a massive damage drop. So just keep that in mind. We have one Kirin Bow. Seraphic is on LE. The scales because, you know, Highlander Grid. Magna Opus because we have enough Amity from the Gisela, Kalulu Spear, and Zoe Ribbon. Magna Opus is optimal here. And again, we have the Palm Tree. Because there's no Cosmos weapon in this grid here, it does have less overall HP though. So keep that in mind as well, that this grid will just naturally have less HP than the normal Hades grid because it's running a Cosmic weapon. Other than that, I think that covers about everything here with the summons. Um, about the Opus, I'm running a MIDI on both Opus and Skill Cap. Now, you're probably wondering my thoughts on it. Personally, Highlander is the better option here. Um, you'll see in the damage, uh, Highlander does have a really hard drop off at around, let's say 45% and upwards. However, normally you will not be at that level, so it shouldn't be an issue. And anything below 40, you do 
pretty great damage. Not to mention you can make use of the damage cap up, which is much higher in this grid versus the normal Hades grid. But that's my opinion on it. Um, in terms of investment, the investment, it, it really depends on like how many of these characters you have, right? The one thing about the normal Hades grid is that this is not really character gated. Like you don't need Black Knight. You don't need, um, well, you, you don't need Black Knight pretty much. <laughs> um, so if you don't have her, it could be kind of a problem. But an alternative is that you don't need as many Gisela. And if you're a full free to play player, getting a Gisela is a problem because it's not a free to play weapon at all. You're gonna have to spend money for it or 30 gold moons or win RNG PG ticket or like the guarantee SSR tickets, you can get it from there as well. So getting one is kind of hard, not to mention this grid is not the best everywhere. Um, tell me how you guys feel about it. I may consider doing a Bahamut high level showcase. Um, that's this is where like it becomes a little bit harder and you'll see the damage drop a lot easier when you take it to Bahamut high level. But uh, just tell me how you guys feel about it. Other than that though, um, this is maximum damage by the way. The only thing that's not max is this. So everything else is pretty much max. This is just another a, a higher stats and uh, 15k more supplemental damage, which doesn't matter by the way. Kululu gains quite a bit out of that. But just tell me how you guys feel about it. There's also RNG in this video. Because Soldier is naturally an RNG class, um, the enhancing bullet and the gold bullet are RNG. They do not have consistent buffs. So this, when you're looking at the damage, pay attention to the buffs because this one, these two are RNG buffs. They're not guaranteed. So sometimes you'll have the supplemental damage buff on and sometimes you won't. There's times when I have it on and I'm able to hit 1 million autos and there's times when it's not on and I can't hit 1 million. So it's re really keep an eye out when you're looking at the damage between both so you can see the buffs as well and i think that covers it all oh one more thing <laughs> before i go people are going to ask me about can you see the end trial damage no because this grid does not have guaranteed ta or anything there's guaranteed ta for the first couple turns but that's me killing off near and lowering my health so it's not going to be consistent for you to see the damage difference between each by me showing you the end screen of how much damage it is. Like, I can like show it to you really quick, but I won't tell you which is which, but you're going to see that it's just, it's all over the place. Like sometimes it's really high, sometimes it's really low. There's a lot of var uh, variance when it comes to this. So this is why I don't really want to show it to people because people can get the wrong idea. But just to give you guys an idea. Now, that's everything I'm going to talk about for now. Leave it in the comments how you guys feel about it. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, peace out.